Hello, Tom Lodziak here, back with another equipment video. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to look after your table tennis bat. Now, equipment seems to be getting more and more expensive all of the time. And, you know, it's very common now for players to have rubbers and blade combination, which is costing 200, 300, 400 pounds. So we're spending a fair amount of money on the equipment we are playing with. So we really need to look after this expensive equipment. We're going to hear from Matt Leet, who works for Brybar Table Tennis. And Matt is going to give us some advice about how we can protect the rubbers, keep them grippy, make them last longer, and keep your bat in tip top condition. Okay, let me pass you over to Matt. So after you finish playing, uh, you might notice your bat's gotten a little uh, dusty. Um, so we do a, a care kit, which is a, a spray cleaner, a chamois, and a uh, rubber protective sheet. Um, so what we recommend is to, to get the spray, um, do a couple of sprays on the rubber. Use the chamois just to wipe it off onto the uh, rubber like that. And then you normally give it a, a couple of minutes just to dry so that you, it's not shiny. Then you've got the protective sheet here. So just take the piece of card out. And then normally just slide that through so the handle comes through the bottom like that. So that will just keep all the dust off the rubbers once it goes in the case. Um, this t type of protector won't fit in the bat shaped one, so you'd, you'd have to get a, a rectangular one um, and then place it in the case and then put it in your bag and then it's ready to go for your next session. So this cleaner especially just cleans the surface. Uh, there is another cleaner, T-Bar Grip Cleaner, which does clean the surface and it does add a little bit of grip to the surface of the rubber. Um, so it's meant to keep the spin of the rubber there for longer. Um, so your rubber shouldn't wear out as quickly. And how often would you recommend cleaning your rubber after every time you play or does it once a week? Um, I'd probably do it after every time um, just so that when you're putting it in your case and putting it in the protective sheet um, it doesn't transfer the dust onto there. So if you know that you clean the rubbers after every session and you put it in this protective sheet you know that that protective sheet will stay clean. Whereas if you put a dirty bat in there, the dust will transfer. And then if you do end up cleaning it the next time, you're then putting the dust back onto a, a cleaned rubber. Is there any danger that any chemicals in the spray will harm the rubbers in any way? Uh, no, the, uh, all the cleaners are, are solvent free. Um, so there's no chemicals that will harm, harm the rubber. Um, it's just there just to clean the surface. Um, and yeah, it won't make the rubbers go, go dead or slower or less spin. Um, it's just there to, to clean the surface and to make it last a bit longer. If you were in a situation where you were playing, you've forgotten uh, your rubber cleaner, could you use a tiny bit of water to clean your bat or would you not recommend that? Um, I wouldn't recommend water. Uh, what I've done in the past is um, just breathe on the rubber close to your face so you get condensation on the rubber and then just wipe it off with your hand or a, a clean towel. Um, some people do use water but I, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd, I'd rather use the condensation of your breath uh, rather than water. Okay, so back cases. You've got Rectangular ones which come as single or double cases. So this one here is a double so you can get about four bats in this one um, You've also got the bat shaped cases so you can fit one bat in this case And it's got space for three balls on the top of it Or if you wanted to go really fancy you've got the metal case here and it comes in a single or a double So this is a double so you can have one bat in here one bat in there and then it's got space for three balls. So if you've got a, a very expensive bat or you've got a very old bat that you, you don't really want to be breaking, I'd recommend going for the metal one because there's very, very little chance of you breaking it. Um, if you're going for a, a, a mediocre bat that you're not massively fussed about, I'd go for either of these, depending on which um, rubber sheet you're going for. If you're going for this impact one, for example, it won't fit in there. 
so that would have to go in a rectangular one but we've also got these tensor sheets which they have a, a film on the back so it's sticky so you'd stick that onto the rubber after you've cleaned it like so there and then you can cut round that to be bat shaped so it will just fit perfectly and then that will be able to fit into the, the bat shaped case. When you've uh, arrived home after a tough table tennis session, um, any recommendations about where you should leave your bat case or what you should avoid doing? Um, so I'd avoid leaving it in the car. Um, if it's warm like it is today, um, the heat can get to the rubbers and can affect how they play. Um, also avoid it if it gets very cold as well because it can make the rubbers go a bit brittle. Um, direct sunlight, I wouldn't leave it in direct sunlight, that makes the rubber turn into like an anti-spin, so that just gets up rid of all the spin off it and it will become unplayable. Um, if you are to take your bat in the house, which I do recommend, try not to leave it leaning up against a radiator, uh, the heat from the radiator can also affect it, so um, yeah, just leaving it up, up against the wall or in a, a cool cupboard, um, they're, they're both ideal for it really. Big question, how, how often would you recommend people, players, change their rubbers? Okay, so yeah, this is a question we get asked a lot. Um, a lot of manufacturers normally say about 60 hours worth of play. Um, so if you're playing one hour a week, it's normally once a year that you want to be changing them. Um, twice a week or two hours a week, every six months and so on. Um, rubbers, they don't tend to fall off a cliff, so they'll do it gradually and because you're playing with the bat every time you don't normally notice that it loses spin and speed because you're getting used to every time that it loses a bit of, of the spin um, but yeah normally once a year if you're playing once a week um, and you can also looking at the rubber this is a brand new rubber so it's, it's nice and smooth across the surface when the rubber starts to deteriorate you'll normally notice around the middle where you normally hit the ball you'll start to see the pimples coming through um, and that's normally if you are consistent and get it in the middle you'll start to lose spin in that area and you'll notice that the outer edges uh, will look a lot cleaner than, uh, than the middle. Thank you Matt, some really useful advice there and I must confess I don't think I do a particularly good job of looking after my table tennis bat so I really need to be following Matt's advice and my equipment is going to stay in better shape. If you need any of the equipment which is featured in this video then I recommend that you go to the Brybar table tennis website. They've got a huge range of table tennis equipment including all of the equipment needed to look after your table tennis bat. Find out more by going to Brybar tt.co.uk. Uh, Brybar is a UK based company but actually they ship equipment worldwide so it doesn't matter where you are in the world you can order from Brybar Table Tennis. Um, thank you very much for watching this video if you've got any comments then please uh, leave one um, underneath the video and if you like the content please subscribe to this channel I'll have more equipment videos coming soon. Bye bye.